Uh, this is like the 10th time I'm making this video because I'm, I'm talking way too long. There's so much emotion in something like this and I'm going off on a soapbox and you know, I'm not going to do it to you. I'm not going to let you listen to my ranting for, for an hour. Um, obviously, I'm talking about the, uh, the shooting. I'm not making a video like everyone else. You're going to see dozens of people make videos that go something like this. Hey, um, there was a shooting. This guy's insane. You know, I feel bad for the families. This is horrible. You know, the, the anti-gun lobbyists are going to attack our Second Amendment rights, and we got to stand up, and we got to fight the fight, you know, harder than ever before. You know, and, and it's not guns' fault. It's the people' fault. You know, and you know how the video is going to go. And I have to say, that's awesome. And those people making those videos are good people. I don't want to contribute to just another one of those videos. You don't need to hear that in my version. You already know how I feel. Okay, if you watch the channel, you know exactly how I feel about this. I will say my heart bleeds for all of these families that have to deal with this. It's it's hard enough when someone innocent is hurt or killed by a maniac, but when children are involved, it's an extra type of sadness. It's it's another level that's you know almost unbearable. I will leave it at that. I'm not going to get into details. It's just it's it's really really saddening. Okay. What I want to talk about is the solution to this problem because obviously there's a problem. There's more shootings in the last year or you know or the last decade than like ever in history. You know, it seems like every month there's a new shooting somewhere. The problem that a lot of people see is that you know all these shootings they're, they're shootings, they're guns. Guns are the problem, right? No. Guns are not the problem. Guns were never the problem. You know, do you ever watch Braveheart? How many guns are in Braveheart? Zero. How many people's legs are getting chopped off and their eyes are getting poked out on the battlefield? Lots of people. No guns. If you look at the history of humanity, as long as there were people, there was violence. People will always hurt other people for a variety of reasons. They'll hurt someone because they love a girl. They'll hurt someone because they're jealous of them. They'll hurt someone because they're mad at them. They'll hurt someone because they're greedy. They want your money. They want your land. Whatever. Besides people always hurting each other, they'll always be good and bad people, right? Bad people doing bad things. The whole issue with guns, it's not guns. Guns are just a convenient weapon to use, all right? If there were no guns, there'd be something else. There'd be a knife ban or there'd be a chainsaw ban. What happens if tomorrow someone grabs a chainsaw, okay? They go buy like a big old like 22-inch chainsaw or something, they go you know, Home Depot and they get this mat, the biggest one they have. Give me, give me the biggest chainsaw you got. Okay, cool. Totally legal, right? And let's say they go down to uh, a retirement home and they start killing old people simply because of the fact they can't run away that fast. Well, what happens? Horrifying news story, right? You think there could be some kind of group that get together and say, you know what, this is obviously an issue. We need to ban chainsaws. And it's ridiculous. That will never happen. However, every time there's a shooting, there's a group of people somewhere. There's many groups of people who say, we got to get rid of guns, right? There'll never be a complete gun ban. I think that it's possible if we don't continuously fight to protect our Second Amendment right, it's possible that somewhere along the line, they'll make it harder for us to get guns. They may make us wait longer. They may make it so expensive that we can't afford it. But they'll never take it away from us. We can never, ever lose the right to own a gun. I honestly think it's impossible. There's too much conflict of interest and there's too much financial responsibility in banning guns. It's just, it's never going to happen. All right. And plus, any kind of law is only as good as the people who enforce it. You can't get the thousands of military personnel and cops that are supposed to take your guns from you because you can't have them if they have them themselves. You know, cops go home. They're citizens. When military people go home, what, they're not supposed to have their guns? They're going to take them away from each other? I don't think so. It's just never going to happen. Plus, you don't, you know, there'll never be enough money to ever coordinate something that big as to just ban guns, period, flat out. It's not going to happen. But it would be, you know, a huge blow to our society if, uh, if there were bigger, more substantial restrictions and, and made it much harder for us to to uh, obtain guns, you know, to protect ourselves legally. Because remember, as we are all constantly reminded of, laws only affect law-abiding citizens. Why are you going to make it harder for me to get a gun? 
Why are you going to make it harder for my very good elderly neighbor to protect themselves if someone breaks in their home and points a gun at them? You know, you have to fight fire with fire. If someone takes a big brick and smacks you in the face with it, you don't say, oh, oh God, that hurt, and, and start poking them. No, you grab the nearest brick you could find, you smack them back. You have to fight fire with fire. Unfortunately, guns fight guns. How do these people stop? Okay, this guy goes into school and shoots a bunch of people. How does it end? It only ends one of two ways. Either they get cornered and they shoot themselves because most of the time these people are cowards. They don't want to go to jail. They want to die. Okay, Or you get someone that kills them before they get to do it themselves. The only way you can fight a gun is with another gun or a bigger weapon like a bomb or something. Let's talk about bombs. You know what? Bombs are really bad. They hurt people. It should probably make them illegal. Oh, that's right. Bombs are illegal. Doesn't stop people from blowing each other up. Drugs are illegal. Doesn't stop people from doing drugs. There'll never be a gun ban. So that's, that's not really an issue. But I do have a solution to this problem. My solution is to get rid of all gun-free zones. Gun-free zones have not once been beneficial to anyone for any reason whatsoever. I think the idea behind a gun-free zone originally makes sense. Okay, so like, let's talk about schools, right? All right, gun-free zone. So you shouldn't have guns in school. To a logical person, they're going to look at that very black and white. You know what? You're right. There's kids in school. There shouldn't be guns because there's a possibility that kids will get the guns. Good point. Yes. I like that. No. There's more to it than that. And that's what people don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the kids, you know, uh, yeah, no, kids shouldn't have guns, right? You shouldn't have, you know, guns just sitting on tables everywhere like a, you know, gun show or something. But what's the point? The real point of a gun-free zone is to try to prevent those areas from being abused, right? You don't want guns in schools because the kids can get them. That's the purpose behind it. But all you're creating, as it's been proven time and time again, is you're creating an atmosphere for someone who's completely insane to go have a party. You know, if this person decides they want to die today, but they don't want to do it in a boring way. They don't want to go in their closet and shoot themselves in the face, you know. No, that seems like it's boring. I, I play a lot of games, and you know what? I love to be able to just go out and kill a bunch of people before I die, okay? Whatever their sick fantasy is, whatever reason they want to do stuff like this, they are able to live it because we as a society are allowing them to go to these little fun houses where no one can fight back. That's the problem. A lot of people would think there's too many guns out there. If you're not a gun person, you don't own guns, you don't shoot guns for recreation, you don't have anyone in your family, no one hunts, you've never been exposed to guns, it all makes sense to you. Yeah, everyone's shooting each other, let's get rid of guns. So I get why people don't like them, but they're not understanding the whole picture. It's not that there's too many guns, it's that the guns aren't in the right places and they're not in the right hands. As long as there's guns, and there always will be guns, there'll always be bad people who use them. And if you got rid of every gun on this entire planet, people would still be blowing each other up with bombs. People would still be using chainsaws to chop each other up, okay? If there's a will, there's a way, and there'll always be weapons. There always was weapons, there always will be weapons, okay? Guns just happen to be the, the weapon of choice these days because it's convenient and it's easy. It's effective. Doesn't mean it's bad, okay? Okay. I just ranted for like 20 minutes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit that out. Let me just get to my point. Um, get rid of the gun-free zones. It's ridiculous, okay? How does not? How do people not see this by now? These are target areas because no one can defend themselves. The answer is more guns, okay? You have to fight fire with fire. If there's guns, which there always will be, there'll be bad people who use them in bad ways. So what you need to do is even the odds. You need to get more guns in the hands of good people. You'll never, ever prevent something like this from happening. What you can do is you can stop it sooner with more good people and more guns, believe it or not. That is the answer. But no one will ever see the problem. No one will ever see it like that. We get it. People in our community understand that that is ultimately the solution. But society as a whole, it doesn't make sense to them. People hurting each other with guns. Why would we give them more guns? They don't get it. And it's sad. They never will. They never will. And there'll be more shootings and there'll be more fighting to get rid of guns, and there'll be more people like us that are fighting back and saying, no, don't take my guns. It's never-ending. It will never end. More people will be eventually victimized and hurt, and that's very sad to me.
because it's an ongoing problem. I don't see a solution. I mean, I know the solution. I don't see it ever being acted out. I think every single school in this country should have some kind of trained officer or military personnel in plain clothes, okay, at the school with guns accessible to them. So if something like this happens or begins to happen, they can stop it before it gets to this point. All right, no one should have enough time to be able to hurt that many people. All right, guys, I can literally talk about this for hours on end. Uh, obviously, frustrated, angry, upset at, at people, you know, dumbfounded that people don't understand by now that these places are being shot up because no one can defend themselves. And the answer is more guns. And I know that sounds so ridiculous to some people out there, but everyone in our community really understands what I'm talking about. All right. The problem isn't that there's there's too many guns. The problem is there's not enough guns. So that's all. I'll leave you with that. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And, uh, you know, say a little prayer. Whether you believe in God or not, say a prayer for these families because their lives have changed today. And it will never be the same. Thanks for watching. See you soon.